What's up everybody, GamerBoy for Life here, and today we are going to be putting a mod menu onto our client, or also known as a click GUI. Sorry, I'm just moving my mic around a little bit. It was in my face. I gotta I gotta move that. Uh professional YouTuber, am I right? Alright. So actually I'm not gonna even like just mumble on like I normally do. We're gonna hop straight into it. So first we need to download this Heroes GUI API. I will leave this link in the in the description. All you gotta do is press download. It downloads a RAR file. Go to your downloads, right click, and extract it. I'm using WinRAR for this. You can use any like extracting tool you want. So then with the extracted folder, open it until you find DE. And now we need to open up our client to the source Minecraft. You should have at least a me, net, optifine, and start. Uh, you might not have the assets folder. I think this is just, uh, if you have optifine, it adds this. If you didn't put optifine in, you won't have that. So we need to drag and drop DE into here. And we're going to go inside of Eclipse. I am going to open up my other client because this is a ton of code we got to fix here. So, um... With the DE import, you're going to notice we have a lot more errors than we normally do. So let's just fix these real quick. So let's open up settings and settings manager. We'll do settings manager first. We just got to remove those imports. We're going to do uh, insert interfered type argument or however you say that. Same thing here. Uh, get parent mod. We're not going to fix that yet. That will get fixed later on. Uh, down here where it says client dot client name, we should just be able to do paradox dot instance dot name. And that's it for settings manager for now. Let's go into settings, remove that import and import our module class. And that should fix all the errors in here. Yep. All right. So these two are already done. Um, where is this giving? Is this... Oh, we got to import the R module class. My bad. Yep. And uh, there we go. So this example folder, we can delete this. We don't need it. And now instead of click GUI, these two will take the longest to fix. So I am looking at my other client to make sure I'm doing this all right. So let's start out with the dot click GUI class. We're going to delete those imports. Scroll down. Uh, so client dot set mgr we need to make our own so we're gonna go come over into our paradox class and right underneath instance so above module manager will work we're gonna do public static settings manager and we're gonna name it settings manager and we're gonna need to import this it's gonna be de.hero.settings and now we're going to come down into start client and put it in here. So settings manager equals new settings manager. So uh, the first thing when Minecraft launches and starts our client, the first thing it will load is the settings manager. All right, so let's go back into click GUI and where it says client dot settings manager. We're going to do paradox dot instance dot settings manager and this array list we're gonna insert the thing we're going to import our category import our module class and right here where it says module dot modules um we are going to do paradox i keep typing parafox i think i've done that in every single video dot instance dot module manager uh dot get modules oh crap if i could type get modules press ctrl s to save and this stuff will give us an error for a bit um m dot get category okay so we need to go into our module class and um we need to make a get category method. So I'm just finding out where this is at. All right, we're gonna scroll down to under set toggled and put it here. 
So we're going to do public category. Maybe if I can spell category as get category. And this will return the category. Now we're going to go down another and do public void set category 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 and and here it will be this dot category equals category it's weird i know and one more thing we're gonna do while we're just here is do public void setup that's what we'll call it we'll just name it setup and bam so now if we go into click gui a uh, new module button Let's see changed nope we don't need to mess with that all right so we're gonna scroll down these issues will get fixed later so yeah let's just scroll down so right here we just need to remove everything all the way so this just says mc and i'll fix that we're gonna scroll down even more client dot settings manager i'm actually gonna if you press Control f this should pop up We'll type client dot set mgr and we'll replace it with parad paradox dot instance dot settings uh, manager. And that should fix that issue. Now we're gonna uh, do change the draw rectangle method. So that's double double double. Yep. And uh, this will create a couple errors. So instead of right here instead of that being end we're going to change it to double and down here we'll also change this to double there we go so back inside of click ui that got rid of that uh in uh b dot mod dot get name um what uh i forgot what i needed to change this to so just give me one second to find out in the code where it's at actually that's correct uh instead of key bind though we set ours to just dot get key again uh, a lot of these errors will go away when we fix the other classes so we're going to scroll down even more to about line 330 and we are going to hover over shader group and change visibility to public and uh, that'll get rid of all the shader group issues so right here uh, instead of this like function this will be get render view render view entity and this one will be load shader and we actually need to change the visibility of that to public as well so just like that and oh i need to there we go uh, just to double check that these are the issues remaining. Yeah. All that will get fixed later on. And let's exit out of click GUI for now. And let's open up panel. This one should get rid of most of the issues. So the array list, insert the type interfered. I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, again, we're gonna change all the client dot settings. Uh, we're gonna change this all to paradox dot instance dot settings manager for all of these and now all we got to do is import our paradox class and that should get rid of all those errors so panel's done uh is this still giving us issues all right we'll fix that in a bit um utils let's just do this font util color util these are these ones are really simple fixes so we'll do color util first. All we need to do here is the same story. Change this with paradox dot instance dot settings manager. And import paradox. And that should get rid of all the errors in here. Wait, we have to Yeah, delete that. Oh crap. Um, all right, so now here for dot draw string, we're going to change the method. Just press control S 
go back inside here that fixes that and this will be um dot draw string with shadow and we can actually delete that if i am correct so if we press Control s that gets rid of the errors yep so now let's go inside an element we need to fix yep uh let's do module button first because this is the one that's giving us the errors i think we'll import our module class that should get rid of a lot of the errors for this array list the type and again we're going to replace this with para docs dots uh instance dot settings manager i'm actually going to copy that just in case we get more like that and import our paradox class and that should get rid of most of the errors so now where it says settings manager we need to go back into our paradox or sorry uh this will be the click gui so we're going to come up here and put it underneath module manager so public static um click gui as click gui and we'll need to import click gui and come down to here and do click gui equals new click gui so now if we go back into uh module button we could change this client to para docs dot instance um all right so now we need to go down to where it says client dot send chat we're gonna slash this out because we do not have a send chat method yet and for keybinds dot bind key all we're gonna we're gonna replace this with mod dot set key and instead of here it will be named key code and down here we're gonna replace this code with mod dot set key to keyboard dot key underscore none and that's module button done so now element combo box element uh checkbox i am opening these up because this is so much code to just remember off the top of your guys' head i don't get how people do it uh we're gonna come here and delete this client import uh that's it for this one for combo box, we'll delete the client import, scroll down, change this. Actually, I'll just do that. Crap. Client dot set MGR with that. And import it. And there. So all the issues are fixed. Click GUI is still having an issue. Why is C wanting uh, to change the modifier? Alright, so I managed to figure out what the issues I was having was. First off, we're going to go in back inside of our Cleach UI class, and we are going to change this to final. Uh, so where C kept giving us an issue, for example, the code before was like this. As you can see, C is giving us an issue. It just wants us to change it to final. We are going to change it to final. And we got to go back into our module class. I had the public void set up down here. What we're actually going to do is just come up here and do public void setup. Uh, we're going to put it here and we're going to go up to public module. And underneath toggled equals false, we're going to run setup. And that's literally the only things that was causing us to have an issue. For some reason, that took me like five days to figure out. I don't have a lot of free time. So this did take me a while to figure out. Oh, you don't need to know my weather forecast. So let's open up the world. And now if we press right shift, we have it open. As you can see. So now if we right click, for example, uh, combat, we have fast bow. And if we click it, it activates the mods uh, movement. Look, we can enable all of these and it will activate them. 
Uh, we don't have anything under player or render yet. Player or miss. Miscellaneous, my bad. Uh, do not click this under render or else that can crash your game. And we're not trying to have that. So, yeah. Just to show you it is working, I'll put myself in survival. We'll go to movement, enable no fall and flight. And look, I'm flying. And if I turn no or flight off, we don't take fall damage. So, yeah. And actually, before I end this video, there is a couple things I want to change. So, I don't know if I showed this already. Um, if we go into GUI endgame hook. Yeah, I didn't do this. So, we're actually going to change a couple things. So, let me run debug and show you what I was talking about real quick. So... One way a lot of servers like to verify you're not running on a hacked client is through your debug menu. So when we press F3 in game, you see how all this stuff pops up. If you look in the top left, where we have our splash on there saying Phantom, FPS, yada, yada, yada. Look, it doesn't go away and we need that to go away. So uh, right here, we're just going to put um if mc dot game settings dot debug show debug info so if this does not uh if we don't have the debug info showing we're gonna put all of this stuff inside of there so let's just go down put this in here we also need to re-put render array list in here and bam. So now the code's a little more organized and it looks a little better. So now if we launch Minecraft. So we're gonna launch MCP world. Now uh, watch, if we press F3, it goes away. And it just says MCP vanilla. It only says MCP, I think, because we are inside of Eclipse. That might change. I am not completely sure. Do not quote me on that. But yeah. So there's that. Now, I do want to do one thing where I have... Um, so you can show the coordinates, but I might just do that as a module later on. So anyways, that is the end of this video, guys. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I'm thinking for the next video, I'm going to add a couple, like, just uh, GUI modules. So, like, on screen, you can have your players show up on screen. You can have, like, your armor duration. You can have, uh, so it will show you what keys you're pressing. Like, it will show on screen and stuff. Just, like, small things like that. Or if you guys have any other ideas, let me know. And I'll do my best to do it. And until then, I'll see you guys all then. Peace out.